Let me stop putting this back together. So welcome back. This is the uh, final leg home. I'm gonna put the ferry on. I already buffed behind the lights and stuff. The rest I'm gonna do on the vehicle. So now I gotta bolt it all back up. A little blue Loctite on the bottom screws, on all the screws actually. These are the most difficult ones to get in. It's definitely not stay in place. Put some grease on there, give it a hold it. There we go. So the idea is to get everything started before you tighten everything down. If the screw keeps falling off the uh, tool, throw some grease. There's plenty of grease on the neck here. Throw a little bit on the head and it should hold it in place for you. So you can at least line it up. Let's go to the other side. So the shield's gonna go in first before we tighten everything down. Just fall right in place. Maybe not. This shield we have the chrome piece with the gasket and that's going to go right on top. I'm going to hold this in place and then I'm going to tighten it down. All right, I'm just going to snug that one. Now we'll come over here and do the side pieces. Snug it a little bit until I get them all in position and then I'll snug them all down. If I tighten these, I'm going to tighten those bolts on the inside top. Doing this with a camera, it's taking so much longer. Gotta reposition the camera every time I go do something. All right, so now I'm gonna tighten these hand tight. Okay, right, so now I'm gonna do the top. And now, I'm gonna tighten the bottom one. take some electrical tape and just uh, cover that up just in case you never know I say you don't have to do that but I like to be safe all right now these just go back in here and this goes right in just screw right into the uh, fairing Screw. So the clip goes up top first. And now for the ring. That just has a lip on the back side and that engages underneath this frame right here, the chrome frame or the chrome ring. And it's pretty much it. And it just connects with this, this little screw down here. And it just pops in. There you go. And then you just tighten that screw nut uh, screw nut up. And it'll bring that together and it won't come on. Lights in, now we gotta check to see if all the lights are working. Alright, we're good. Now I'm gonna buff this up. I'm just gonna lock the steering so it doesn't move on me. Take a clean rag and we'll wipe this down. I gotta say, for a redneck paint job, it's not bad at all. I ended up getting the uh, brake levers and clutch lever. Pretty cool. I like them. They got a little slot in there. I'm gonna put the cable through first, pin goes through. Make sure it's all lined up in there. Alright, let's get this 
straight away. There we go. Now we've got to put the pin on. Now I'm going to put this retaining clip, which is not going to be easy. It goes underneath. Alright, so that's in. So I'm just tightening this cable up to get about an eighth of an inch play between the housing and the cable. Alright, that's good enough. So once you're done with that, you're going to tighten that nut, the lock nut, and then you put the boot right over everything. I've done it so many times, I just do it by eye. The cable from the housing should have an eighth to a quarter inch almost of play. So I'm right there. I'm good. They fit pretty good in these handles. I'm back. Now we gotta do the brake switch. That's gonna be interesting. Now I gotta take this all back apart. There's a piece of... <laughs> somebody put in some kind of steel thing too. Yeah, somebody's been in here. This is not factory. This is not factory. Somebody put it in there to push the switch out. The switch is just worn down. I need a new switch. Alright, so here's your switch. Right? It's just worn out. So, according to the book, we're going to have to cut an inch off of this, and then we tap it right into this. Okay, let's go get the new switch. Alright, the switch came with a bunch of wiring, but I am not doing all that wiring. I'm just going to wire it right there. So we're cutting it. I'm going to cut it the same length. Look at the difference. See the old switch? It's worn right out. That's the new one. Big difference. We're going to solder that bad boy. Or solder. Right. So that's one side. Take the heat shrink. Right over that. That's it for that side. With the other side the same way. You need to depress the pin here. To get it to slide in. Should pop right in place. Boom. And there you go. Let's check the brake light make sure it works. Okay, that works. So now I gotta put this back together. Make sure the switches are in the right. Now, get this back on. Put the cable out. Put this through the cable. There we go. Okay, so that goes like that. Put the other brass piece on the other side of the cable. And now we gotta line this into the accelerator. Okay. Take care. God bless. Wish you all the best. Bye-bye.